Hi everyone, thanks for joining us today. I hope you're all well and healthy. Um, today I will talk about my journey, how I transitioned my design process and organize a remote workshop using Figma. I will start with some introduction and share some real life examples. And in the end, I will share a few key takeaways and Figma template link. I would like to start with a question. How often do we ask ourselves, what do I need to learn today? Um, this is a diagram of a skill set that is required for a UX designer. Every other day, new tools are coming and new methods are arriving. We need to code, we need to research, and so on and so forth. The expectation for designers is exponentially growing. Um, but while those requirements are expanding, our design timeframe is radically reducing with agile development. We learn various methods and skills, but in reality, we don't even have time to apply what we've learned. When we are in the sprint cycle, we need to deliver design within two weeks or longer, if we're lucky. And one day, I found this interesting graph from the book called Thank You for Being Late. Um, this is a chart illustrating the fact that now the rate of technological change is accelerating so fast that many of us cannot keep pace anymore. I mean, no wonder why everything feels like we're in a constant catch-up mode but we can't slow down this technological progress. But instead, we can increase our ability to adapt by optimizing ourselves for learning. But are we in the right environment? When our companies and teams are optimized for speed than learning, our tool must support us to be efficient with time. Before I use Figma, I used to spend a lot of time searching for the right tool for different purposes. And once in a while, I had to update the outdated JPEG images like spread all over in Jira tickets or any other documentation. But since I started to use Figma, now I finally stopped searching for new tools all the time. Also, I don't need extra work for updating files thanks to real-time Figma plugin for Jira and Notion. But what does it mean to our product teams? I once had a situation that people position themselves on top of others by creating information silos. It was not a pleasant feeling. I felt like the door was shut right in front of me. And I heard people around me felt in the same ways and started to care less about their product. But when we share what we know, people start to share and trust us, and we also trust them. And I believe this trust is a basic step to build a relationship, to collaborate and build a great product. And so far, Figma enabled us to share so easily at any time, anywhere, and to anyone. So I've replaced some set sensitive information, but this is the snapshot of a workshop that we did. So usually I would have imagined myself to organize a workshop on a whiteboard and a sticky notes with lots of snacks, but due to Corona outbreak, our team had to make a remote workshop. My product manager was already used to Figma and we didn't want to pay extra for other collaboration tools just for one day. And since you can just change between editor and viewer mode without extra payments, we just decided to use Figma to organize a remote workshop. And these are a few key points that helped our workshop work. So first point was help your team familiarize themselves with Figma before entering the workshop. And second point, uh, focus on inspiration and excitement rather than the number of tasks. And third, uh, collaborate with your product manager to move forward the learnings to delivery. Throughout this workshop, we wanted to reveal the design that was work in progress and invite engineers to build our product together. So on top of the existing design concept, we asked engineers to submit their ideas in Figma around like one week before the workshop. 
Since the workshop was short and remote, it was important that the team familiarize with the framework and Figma. So I shared a couple of YouTube, YouTube tutorials and include instruction on how to use the items within Figma. And as you know, a remote workshop is less personal than the on-site workshop. But if your team already has the offline workshop experience, you can also bring that to an online platform. So while we were voting ideas with free discussion, I was amazed at how creative people can be. Uh, for example, our team members were given 10 dots. And when they used all the dots, they just made dots super huge to show that they like the ideas. I mean, it's pretty cute. And, but also one of the benefits of the remote workshop with Figma is that you can back up each stage by duplicating layers. For example, you can save the dot voted step before moving the cars to the metrics and going to another level. And if you're lucky, your teammates may have a lots of ideas. But instead of trying to cover all those ideas, just pick only top voted ones and focus more on the discussion. Because the goal here is to get the feeling of what excites the team and get inspired. And we don't want this exercise to become one of the technical grooming session. Also, um, I was working closely with my product manager to prepare this workshop. Because I was already using Figma with my product manager every day to exchange ideas. And eventually we want to bring these ideas into life. And the product managers are obviously the magician to convert those ideas to the Jira tickets. And after the workshop, I've created separate Figma files to sort out ideas from the workshop in different lanes. For each lanes, I've divided cards for development, new ideas, and future ideas. Especially the cards for development, I used the Figma feature to create the link to connect cards with Jira ticket. It was pretty helpful. And it was so amazing that after the workshop, lots of ideas were flowing in the Slack channel from engineers. I used that green area to capture ideas after the workshop for continuous inspiration. So these are a few takeaways that I have learned from my journey exploring Figma with my team. Um, first, um, start small. Try to make sure and often rather than a bank and bank remote workshop. And second, to use time efficiently in the remote workshop, collaborate both offline and online. And lastly, let your work accessible for your team and embrace the vulnerability in exchange for trust. And my favorite part was the third point. As you know, in the age of acceleration, we have to constantly learn to perform with less and less time. And collaboration is not easy. But once we start to collaborate beyond our design community, we can learn faster and build so much better product together. I mean, powered by the shining ideas from cross disciplines. And Figma can be your good friend to start building that trustful relationship. So I've made my Figma workshop template available in this link so that you can play around. So thanks for listening today. I hope you're all stay safe and healthy.